This is my quick little update. I am in New Jersey for an entire week. Friends with me on Instagram, you will know 100% the things that I always buy and I need to restrain myself because one, I'm literally in the process of moving country. Two, I have way too many of them. And three, it gets expensive. These things are expensive. But I'm gonna buy them anyway because like, why not? <laughs> I got, I finally got my hands on this book. I need to show you who I'm talking about because I love her. Let me just find her. I follow her on everything. Anyway, I finally got my hands on this book. I have been trying to find this book in Canada before I left for ages. I should have just got it on Amazon, but I was trying to restrain myself. If it wasn't in store, then I wouldn't buy it because it wasn't necessary, right? But I saw it in store in New York and I got it. I put my, I got my hands on it. The Four Agreements from Don Miguel Ruse. Come on. Don Miguel I don't know how to say it, but anyway, I finally got my hand on this book, so that's exciting. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous to show you my next purchase because, let me explain. I just drooled. <laughs> I am originally from a show, obviously, and we don't really follow basketball. We don't really follow the NBA as heavily as people in North America, right? Just, it's a fact, we don't. So, I do not entirely follow a team and one and only team. So I went into the NBA Superstore. I went into, the, I think it's called a Superstore. I just went into an NBA store yesterday. And um, yeah, so I bought a hat. <laughs> I just know I'm gonna get hate for this. I bought a hat and I bought it purely for the color. And did you know, did you know that in the NBA store you can customize your shirts and shorts and pants and socks and I don't actually think you can customize your socks, but you can customize nearly everything. So I bought a hat, which is my favorite color, the only reason why I bought it, and I customized it. Now, I am in love with this man on YouTube. Sorry, quick backstory to why I put this thing on, on my hat. I am in love with this guy called Heinz on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, podcasts, everything. If you're following me on Instagram, you would see me sharing him all the time because I'm in love with him. He's so good. Anyway, he put out a recent video and he mentioned bamboo growth. It blew my mind. It blew my mind. This video was insane and I love it. So ever since then, I got, <laughs> I got a hat. And you can customize it, like I said, but I got a hat purely because it's my favorite color and I fucking love it. And I put the word bamboo growth on the side. If that's not the most exciting thing of my week, yes, I'm in New Jersey. If that's not the most exciting thing of my week, then I don't know what it is because I love this hat and I am in love. And to my other green hat, which is the New York Yankees. At least it's a different sport, but yeah, so I'm in love with my hat. Milwaukee Bucks, at least I know the team, but I did have to Google if it was actually a deal. Uh, so I knew for, you know, politically correct statements, probably still gonna get it wrong. But anyway, isn't that amazing? I love that and I love that they can do that. 20 bucks and you can put anything on your hat, like no limitations, I actually think you can only get one engravement for 20 bucks, you, but you can get uh, like, what's it called? Like graphical designs, you can get words, and this was like, you can get multiple words for $20, as long as it's like one quote or one saying or whatever, as long as it's not like four different sayings. Oh, plus, plus. One more thing, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna change lens so you get like, the whole view of it because it is beautiful. Are these not the most beautiful things that you've ever seen? 
I finally got my hands on something that has like evil eye on it. Oh, now it's not focusing because it's really close. I finally got my eye, my eye, my hands on something that has the evil eye on it. Not only one, but two. I moved closer to the window because it's just like better lighting. Apparently it was too dark over there, which really sucks. I read my book. I read more of my book yesterday, right? And I'm gonna bring out a whole chapter three video on the seven habits. I'm on, I'm about to start habit four, but I'm gonna bring out a whole video on habit two and habit three. They just haven't been edited yet. This book is blown. This book blows me away. <sighs> This book is insane. The relatability of it is just, it kind of like sucks the air out of you because I am in a lot of tricky situations right now, new situations that I'm trying to navigate. And this book not only touches on all the ways to be more effective and efficient in dealing with those situations and my moods and my emotions and my reactions, it touches on everything else in your life. This guy brings in so many different points and stories throughout his life, even just in the family sense. It's not just business. It's not just career. It's not just trying to make money. Like it's literally trying to be the most effective, efficient p person that you can be without being super like, do this, 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 and this. It's it just, it just, ah, oh, I can't put the words to, oh, yeah, I just can't explain it other than it is insane and I highly recommend this book. It is a long read if you truly implement the steps, but if you're actually wanting to make a change and you're actually trying to make a change in your life for the better, then it shouldn't matter how long it takes to read a book. Because, pardon, because if you truly care about shifting your perspective and growing into a better person, the time to read a book shouldn't matter. Because it, you were implementing, you, <laughs> I cannot get the words out quick enough today. You were implementing new tasks that you've never done before. You need to take the time to truly hone into your skills. I don't think hone is a word, but you get the point. Truly dive deep into these new skills and then you will better your life. <clears throat> it's not just gonna happen overnight. My throat is so itchy. <coughs> God damn it. You actually need to hone in to what it is trying to tell you. Not just read the words and put it on the shelf and forget about it. You actually need to concentrate on what it's trying to teach you and implement those steps and skills or else it's like just a waste of your time. No self-help books are going to help you unless you help yourself with what you're reading. Okay, enough of the serious talk. This was just a super quick video because I wanted to update you on my life. Currently in New Jersey. Leave on Thursday to go to California, I believe. California, I believe. I'm going to, no, I lied. I'm going to Chicago, not California. California is the third step. So New Jersey, Chicago, California, LA. Wait, isn't California in LA? I don't know where I'm going. I'm having a mental fart and quite honestly, I didn't plan this trip. So I don't know. I'm just going with the flow. No input at all. But I did get a hat and I did get rings and I did get a book, even though I was told not to. But it's okay because if you watch my pack with me video, it is hard to pack under 22 kilograms. And I just added a book. But it's like it's teeny tiny, so I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna deal with it. Okay, add it to my collection of books that I'm carrying around. Maybe I could just donate one. I don't know. 
But anyway, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go to the beach. See, I'm already in my swimmers. I'm already in my swimmers. I'm actually gonna go. So, bye. Have a good day. Love you. Catch you on the flip side. Bye.